News for you, awesome websites without code. Hey, what's up, users? John with Muse for You here to help you build awesome websites without code. And welcome to the weekly update for the week of March 26th through April 1st. Um, I was going to release a few more video tutorials this week, uh, but considering the climate of where everything is at, I decided to give it a moment before I started posting more videos. Um, I just want to take this time to, to mostly answer emails and to provide support. Uh, like I mentioned in the previous video, uh, Muse for You will continue to provide widgets, templates, and video tutorials. And I do have a template coming out this week and possibly a widget. So for now, I will briefly talk about what I've worked on this week. So this week I've updated the big menu widget. Um, there's now another widget included uh, that's called the big menu widget with open button. Um, so when this widget was first released, it had a preset open button. Um, and then the later update, the 2.0 update, you were able to add your own custom image to the open button. And I received a lot of emails with users asking about, you know, where did the open button go? Or, you know, I can't see the open button. And that's because uh, for the custom image, initially it's just, you know, a question mark looking for an image. Uh, so I decided to include another widget so there wouldn't be any confusion there. Um, if you did want the preset open button with the text, um, there is a widget for that now. So I'll go ahead and showcase in Adobe Muse. So here I'll open up Adobe Muse and here I'll go to the library panel. And if you don't see the library panel, you can go to window and click on library. Okay, and then I'll open the library panel here. And here I'll type in a uh, big menu. So we'll notice now we have two widgets. We have the big menu widget 2.6 and we have the big menu widget 2.6 with open button. Um, so in the first releases of the big menu widget, so I'll click, hold and drag with the open button. Um, you'll notice now we have the open menu uh, text here and the button, and I can go ahead and preview in the browser and I can click to open the big menu widget. All right, or the big menu. So here you can add any text for the open menu button. So I can say, I can just have the word menu. I can change the font size. And now you can just resize the widget container to change the size of the menu button. And I can change the text by clicking on the widget and going to the text option in the upper control bar. And from here I can you know, select any text. So I'll do Futura bold. And there we've changed the text for the open button and the menu items. So I'll go ahead and preview in the browser. And when I click, we have the, the different uh, font there for the text. Um, I can set it to a circle. So like here in the open button, here are the options. We can change the font size, the font color, the background color, the hover color, the button radius, and the cursor type for the open button. Um, if you are adding an image for the cursor, uh, the image needs to be 128 pixels by 128 pixels or less. Okay, so let's say I did want a circle for the open button. I'd want to set the open button to a square. So here I'll select the open button and I'll just resize it to 400 or let's do 300 by 300. So we'll make it a perfect square. And then in the, the button radius, I'll just enter in 300 for the open button radius and that should give us a perfect circle. All right, so there we have a circle for the open button. Um, it is kind of a large or open button, but it can make an interesting effect um, depending what you're going for for your website. Uh, but yeah, it's just that easy. If you want this type of open button, um, you can change the, the font size for the, the text. So I can make it a little bit larger. And uh, you can change the font size of the open button and the menu items at a specific breakpoint. So here in the breakpoint section, uh, you can change the font of the open button when the breakpoint is less than a specific breakpoint, and then you can change you can set the font size. So if I entered in let's say 480 here, and I set this to 16, um, when I reach the 480 breakpoint, the the menu button will change. All right, so there we can see it's at a larger uh, the font size is larger. When I resize, we can see it gets smaller there. When I reach the 480 breakpoint. And here I'll just pin it uh, responsibly to the center so it stays in the center. And there we go. So we can see the, the font size changes. All right, so that is an option there. Um, if you didn't want it to change across breakpoints, 
just leave the the breakpoint value to zero and it'll just stay the same font size throughout all, throughout all breakpoints. Okay, so that's basically it for the update. Uh, you can change the hover color. So, you know, I could do something different for the, the hover color. And if I preview, when I hover, it turns that color and it opens the menu. All right, looks good. So you can do that for any of the 11 menus. If you wanted like the genie effect, just drag and drop and there's the open menu button and I'll go ahead and preview and I click and we have the genie effect. All right, so I did want to include it because I have gotten a few emails with users asking, you know, where's the open button? Uh, because in the first releases, it did look like this with the open menu button. Um, if you did want your own custom image, you could just use the big menu widget 2.6 and I'll bring in the, uh, the little boxes effect. That's a cool effect. Um, so you'll notice with the, the big menu widget, so users were, I think, getting a bit confused because there was this question mark here. Uh, but yeah, you just open the widget, you can click add file for the open button. And then within the widget folder, there's, there's a few icons, or you can create your own open button icon or, or download it. There's quite a few icons online um, that have, you know, open buttons and close buttons. So I'll go ahead and preview. And when I click, there we have the menu. So now you have the option between your own custom image or if you like the open button, uh, the, the open button with the text and the colored background, uh, you can use that as well. Uh, for both, you do have to add a close button image. So for the close button, you can just click add file and select a, an icon for the close button. And you can center the close button and reposition it as well within the widget options. And you can enable uh, the, the rotate on hover as well. So I'll go ahead and preview. And when I click, we now see the open button right here and it rotates on hover. All right, looks good. So that is the new update. You can now add uh, the open button with the text, with the new open button widget. All right, looks good. So that's basically it for the update. Uh, to get access to the big menu widget, you simply go to museforyoushop.com and here you can click subscribe today and here you can click subscribe now to get access to all widgets and templates i come out with for 39 a year here's the big menu widget uh, here you can, you can click add to cart to purchase individually or again you can click subscribe to get access to all widgets and templates i come out with for 39 a year here's the preview page where you can go through all the different uh, menus within the big menu widget um, we have a few uh, widget options here images of the widget options and the change log so the change log um, added with open button widget to allow menus to have a preset open button with text. Uh, there's performance improvements and updated code within uh, both of the widgets. Okay, so that's it for this weekly update. Again, I do this to help you build awesome websites without code. If you like this video tutorial, you can subscribe below. Also in the show more section below are links to other resources and links to museforyoushop.com. So again, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video tutorial. Thank you. News for you, awesome websites without code.